Hi there boys and girls, uh, Bruce here with another guitar creativity video and today I wanted to talk about this issue of productivity and worrying. You know you might have seen some of my other videos, I've done quite a lot about productivity and some of the issues surrounding it and how to be productive um, and how to be more productive. But one of the things that really strikes me, and this is something I feel we all have to deal with when it comes to procrastination, is this idea that you're always comparing yourself to someone else. And this is really, really prevalent in the internet age, I feel, because we're always on YouTube as we are now, hopefully watching these videos, getting help and instruction from, from guys out there like me and, and a, a wealth of other more experienced and much better educators. Um, but we're also seeing so much talent and so much music and so much ability that I feel for a lot of us it can be kind of off-putting because we're not at that level. So rather than create, we're just worrying a lot of the time about how do I get to be that good? And if I'm not that good, then I shouldn't be doing anything. I need to get to this to this really high level before anything I do is valid. Now I'm here to tell you that that's kind of bullshit. You know, people were playing guitar, people were writing music, you know, long before the internet and long before you could compare yourself to other people. You know, people were famously banging pots and pans in the house or getting a, a broken guitar and strumming the hell out of it and coming up with, with music. At the end of the day, and I know this is a cliche, but we really should be here to be writing unique and interesting music that at one level, and probably the most important level, appeals to you. It's it's coming out of you. It's your art. It's your personality. Now, don't get me wrong. This doesn't mean you don't strive to be better. That means it doesn't mean you don't strive to be the best of what you can be. But if you're just continually measuring yourself against others and comparing yourself against others, it's going to be really, really hard to improve and it's also going to be really really hard to productive because you're always second guessing what someone else is thinking and that is a, a real problem when it comes to creating your own art is trying to second guess what other people think of it and I will tell you one thing for sure and, and I found this and I found this the hard way you know as much as I would love that everyone loves my music and loves what I do that's not the case. A lot of people hate it. And you can only read some of my YouTube comments. A lot of people hate these videos. I'm hoping it's not you. And if it is you and you do like them, please do subscribe. That would mean the world to me. And also, please like this video. It really helps. And it really it's really good to know you guys are out there appreciating what I do. I'm under no illusion that a lot of people out there dislike what I do. But that's not the point. If I'm trying to second guess every person in the universe and what they might think about what I'm doing and the work I'm doing, I'm never going to get anything. My productivity and my creativity are going to go to zero. And it was actually Steve Vai who gave this advice and it's, it's something that's always resonated with me. When you're creatively stuck and when you aren't being productive, just imagine the scenario. You're, you're in your writing room or in your studio or downstairs on the sofa, chilling out, you've got your instrument, whatever it is, your words, whatever, write something that you believe no one else is going to hear. Yeah, Write something that in your mind, or not even in your mind, that you know that you're never going to play to anyone, that it's just solely for you. Yeah, Easy task. Close the doors, lock the doors. When everyone's gone out of the house, just sit down and write something that no one else will ever hear. Try it, see how it feels. And I'm pretty sure because I have done this myself, a lot of those worries and a lot of those fears and a lot of those, a lot of those anxieties disappear. And you start to write stuff which is unique to you, which is inherent to you, but actually more importantly, you like. Again, mark my words, I'm pretty sure you will finish that tune. I'm, I'm, I'm guarantee if you try it, you will finish that tune. If you know no one else is gonna listen to it you will surprise yourself. The lesson in this video is stop trying to compare yourself to others. And it is a really tall ask. It's really impossible because our mind never goes to sleep. It's always there saying, well, you know, in my Guthrie Govan's better than you. If I practice loads and loads and loads, I'm gonna be as good as him. 
Also bear in mind, these people have had a very different journey to you. You do not have the same journey through life. You do not have the same experiences as them. You never will. No matter how try hard you try to emulate them, you're never going to have those same experiences or that life journey to take them to the point where they create the sounds and the music that they create. But you are creating your own journey and your own sound and your own uniqueness. So celebrate that. And it might be just thrashing away on an A chord. That might be your thing. Or it might be playing 30 second notes at 180 beats a minute. Good luck with that. But that might be your thing. Ignore, if you can, and I'm not saying this is easy and it's part of the human condition that we all struggle with this, but try to ignore those voices in your head and realize that whatever you do, even if it's a 50-50 split, 50% 50 of the population are going to hate it but 50 of the percent of the population might love it. And even if it's 10% of the population who love it, or one person who loves it, then you've created something that means someone to something else. So don't be put off. Don't worry and try to second guess what people are gonna think about your work. Just create your work. And I recommend my video on just finishing. That's the, you know, watch this video, go watch the other video and um, tune into my talk about finishing work and the importance of finishing work. I hope you found that useful, guys. Please do, if you like my work, please do subscribe to my channel. That means the world to me. And um, please, or, or like the video, or even more, if you've got a few seconds, leave me a comment. If you've got any questions, if you've got any thoughts, any queries, just drop me a line and I will get straight back to you and I might even do your little video. I hope you found that useful. I will catch you later.